afternoon, everyone. Um, hope everybody's having a uh, wonderful, relaxing, restful weekend. Um, I have been up since four. I have been up since four thirty this morning. Um, I guess you can say I love to work. I am a worker. Um, I wasn't at work, but <clears throat> I was working, um, got outside and uh, ran, um, got my hair cut <clears throat> and then went to the gym and then worked out for about another two uh, hours. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm a grinder and, um, grinder worker. Um, no, welcome to my channel. I am Sean Pharrell. Um, just want to say a, a shout out to my new subscribers, um, and a shout out to all of my, and a shout out to my sub subscribers overall. <coughs> um, just want to say thank you, um, and I thank you for caring so much about mental health. Um, I believe God is just sending more and more people, um, blessing me to have an impact on you, um, on you, the subscribers or audience, um, shout out to the, um, Netherlands as shout out to the Netherlands as well, because I believe I have people watching me as far as the Netherlands. So when you can reach people as far as the ne Netherlands, You're having an impact. Trust me, you're having a you're having a positive impact. And um, yeah, so um, like I said, when you can reach people as far as the uh, Netherlands, damn, you are really having a impact, positive impact. So shout out to um, the Netherlands. I know uh, there's a few you people watching me over there. Um, Shout out to my guy, um, Diary of a Cast. Um, go check out his channel as well. And um, and um, let's get right, right to who it. Um, something I haven't talked about in a in a good minute. Um, bullying and cyberbullying. And um, first of all. Um, not gonna waste no time. I'm gonna get right, right to it. Um, talk about cyberbullying first. Um, Fifteen point five percent are cyberbullied, and twenty point two percent are bullied on school property. Um, in twenty seventeen, um, the percentage of individuals who experience cyberbullying at some point in their lives doubled from eighteen percent to thirty four percent. Again, people who experience cyberbullying at some point, um, at some point in their lives, um, increased from 18% to 34%. So that's quite a jump. Um, um, <clears throat> um, some cyberbullying stats as well. Um, 2014, 2015, um, school, um, school crime supplement, I believe, um, 21% of students around 12 to 18, ages 12 to 18, experience some type of cyberbullying or some form of bullying, excuse me. The 2015 Youth Risk, uh, sur sur Surveillance Survey System says that 60% of high school students high school students um, experience bullying electronically. 95% um, of teenagers witnessed bullying on social media. And of course, in the age of uh, technology today, 80% of teens use a cell phone. Um, half of children and teens would never report it to their parents if it happens to them. Um, 
as somebody who has been bullied and um, verbally made fun of, I can tell you right now, I never reported it to my parents. I never re reported it to my, my parents. I did not. Um, girls are likely to be, are more likely to be targets than boys. Fewer than 20% of the incidents are even reported to the, um, are reported to law enforcement. Um, so yeah, um, um, I did not come up, um, and the technology explosion age in the, um, well, well, I was born in 85, okay, so, um, internet wasn't even around, and, is there in, and it wasn't even around to 95 where the internet was just born, and then just as I was graduating high school, um, just as I was graduating high school in 2004, no social media was just being born around that had time. So, um, so I can't say I was a hyper bully. So I can never say I was a hyper bully. But um, there's a movie called Cyber Bully, Cyber Bullying, and um. I've watched that movie so many times, and um, and it still get hits to me. It still get it's it still get hits to me. I would I would encourage you to go watch the movie, um, Cyber Bully. Um, you can probably rent it on YouTube or something. Buy it. Um, it used to be on Netflix. Um, and um. But um, I believe Netflix to look it off. So um, but um, yeah, there's a movie called Cyber Bully, Cyber Bully. I would encourage you to go check, check it out. I would encourage you to go check, check it out. Um, see. So those are just a few stats on um cyber bullying. Um. Now, um, something I did experience, I did experience, um, was bullying, verbal bullying, um, it's kind of what I call regular bu bullying, <laughs> um, two types of bullying, there's cyber bullying and then there's what I call, again, what I call regular bullying, that's just Talking about how to verbal, um, you know, physical, emotional, sexual bullying, um, just some signs of bullying to look, look out for, um, a decline in grades, unexplainable injuries, depression, which was me, um, a change in eating habits and sleep patterns, um, feelings of helplessness or decreased self-esteem, physical complaints, headaches, upset stomach, um, trying to miss school, um, 5.4 million students want to stay home every day for fear of being bu bullied. Now, um, I didn't try to stay home from school, um, for fear of being bullied. However, for those of you who have watched my, my channel, um, and for those of you who may hey not, nah, I for those of you new subscribers, um, I had my shorts pulled pull down, um, when I was in the seventh grade on, on the bus, and I. Walked home crying. And um, it was after that where um, I did everything I could to make his to bus. I would get ready for school slow. I would try to stall as much as I possibly he could. And um, 
having my shorts pulled down just gave me real bad anxiety about riding the bus and um, I tried to avoid it, wanted nothing to do with it because um, I knew if I rode it morning time, especially in the afternoon, they were going to get at me. I knew they were going to get me every time. And um, so um, I absolutely detested riding the bus. At least in the seventh grade, I did. I detested riding the bus because um, I just knew they were going to get me every day. And um, like I said, I got my shorts pulled down. The entire bus just exploded la laughing. Um, quickly pulled my shorts up. Um, I could feel tears beginning uh, to come. So I held it just long enough till I got off the bus. And then that has when all the tears came. But yeah, um, I did avoid missing school. Um, I just tried to avoid um, riding the uh, bus. And um, so yeah. Um, kids and teens, self-destructive behavior, self-harm, which was me, running away, talking about suicide, which was me. Now, um, self-harm, um, I would kind of say self-harm came later. Self-harm came later in life. And talking about suicide also came later in life. And I would say... Now, I would say it, it was a um, aftershock, um, aftershock of uh, bullying. I wouldn't say it was an aftershock, but um, self-harm was um, something that came from not feeling good about myself, having a low opinion of myself, feeling like a burden. Same thing with uh, talking about suicide. And someone, and that's someone who wanted to commit suicide as well. And actually tried to commit suicide. So, so yeah. Um, 10% of students who drop out of school do so to being bullied repeatedly. Um, I didn't even know, man. I didn't even know who this is right here. Each month, 282,000 students are assaulted in some way in secondary schools in the U.S. And the number is also growing as well. Um, stats suggest that um, revenge due to bullying is number one motivator for school shootings. Um, 86% of students surveyed said um, other kids picking on them, making fun of them. It's the number one reason why that turn turns. Blah, that teens turn to um, lethal violence at, at school. Um, I was made fun of. I was made fun of. Like I said, I was verbally bullied, made fun of at a, a school. Um, There was a time where um, I was missing my two front teeth. I was missing my two front teeth um, because I had a very bad bike accident um, on only my third day of school in the ninth grade. Um, I had a very bad bike a accident and um, caused multiple injuries and it caused me to lose my two front teeth as well. Flipped a bike, landed head first. Um, oof, yeah, it hurt. It hurt to say he hated the least. Um, didn't even know I, I was hurt um, because um, I flipped a bike, uh, heard the bike crash, and then I was out. And um, 
it wasn't until I came to that I realized that I was um, injured and it felt like I was in a dream. And um, I guess you could say I was traumatized because it felt like I was a dream. It really did. It really did. But um, there, um, I, I, I didn't think once about violence um, for being made fun of. I didn't think that at all. Um, I did want them to stop making fun of me. I did want to say hey, something, but I just did not know how. I just did not know how. And, um, and, um, again, I wanted to say something, but, um, wanted to say something, but I just, just didn't, uh, no, just didn't. Just did. Um. Well, no, no, no. I say take that back. I say take that back. I said something to a teacher. Yeah, yeah. If that counts as saying something, yeah, 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 it does. It counts as saying something. <laughs> I did tell the teacher, but um, I don't think she did much if she did anything at all and so um and so um and so um i just didn't tell her any, anymore um and um you know um i figured what's the point of telling somebody if they probably not gonna help you in the um if they're probably not gonna help you in the uh best way and so uh, yeah um Nearly 75% of school shootings have been linked to harassment and bullying. 64% um, of students who are bullied do not report it. 87% um, of students surveyed report that bullying is the primary motivator of school shootings. And um, again, there are different types of bullying, cyber, physical, verbal, emotional, sexual, um, you know, so, um, so yeah, um, I would just say if you're being bullied, um, you know, um, tell someone you trust, tell a trusted friend, um, Again, I did tell Hulsa one, but they didn't do who no, nothing. But they didn't do who nothing. Um, probably should have continued to um, tell tell people that I was being bullied. But um, but um, you know, um, I just uh, I just did. Um, yeah, I just, I just did. So um, tell a parent, tell a trusted friend, tell a teacher. Um, tell the guy how this can counselor, um, parents of a, a course, um, you know, um, and, um, you know, just to help someone, yeah, just to help someone, just to help someone, um, again, um, I, um, by the time I graduated high school, by the time I was out of grade school, um, I was really, really bitter over what had happened to me. I was really, really bitter over what happened to me. And, um, so I had bitterness combined with anger, um, combined with depression. And it came together like this right here came together like this right right, right here um, you know um, the led to a um, the led to a lot of dark years um, mentally they had led to a lot of dark years mentally and so um, you know um, again if you're being bullied just 
just to elder teacher. Teacher doesn't do nothing. Guidance counselor. Tell a trusted friend. Um, always tell mom. Um, always tell mom, mom and uh, mom and dad. Um, you know. Um, um, and um, so yeah, so yeah. Um, so yeah. Um, I've been bullied before. Um, I've told hold some somebody to hold a teacher and um. Don't think that teacher really did anything. And that's when I said I completely, and that's when I said I'm not telling nobody anymore because what are they going to do? But, um, you know, but, you know, um, I encourage you to tell somebody. <laughs> um, yeah. Just to tell somebody. But, um, I think schools are doing a little bit better job now. Um, I remember when I used to work at a job and I was doing a uh, pickup at a school. I saw that they had banners flying saying, be a bully. Uh, I mean, be a bully. Damn. <laughs> yeah, cut that. Uh, cut that part out. Um, the banner said, be a buddy, not a bully. That's what the banner said. Be a buddy, not a bully. And so, um, you know, I think schools today are doing a better job of, um, you know, bringing awareness of the uh, problem of um, bullying. So, yeah. All right. Um, that's all I got to say. Um, Thank you to my subscribers. Shout out to all my brand new subscribers. May God bless you all. I am out of here. I'm going to try to catch myself a nap before I get on with the rest of my day. So, peace y'all. God bless.